If you're like me with goldfish memory, then this video is for you. Here's everything that's happened in Shinzo Lofu Fast Food Edition. Blaze somehow gets arrested in Lofu. Kafka shows up at the Astro Express carrying all three feet of Pompom -pom while informing them about the Celon in Lofu. Due to the secret past connected to Lofu, Daniel Hung opts to stay behind. Thus, the main crew for this adventure consists of the selfie girl, our resident trash MC, and their grandpa. Once we enter Lofu, the crew gets into a fight with several monsters known as the Mara Shrug. The crew then saves the best tank in the game, Ting Yun, who works for the Skyfaring Commission under Yu Kong. Just as they're about to be arrested, the general of Lofu, Jin Yun, shows up and turns the crew into hired thugs to help capture Kafka with no pay. The crew follows Kafka's trail using the cutest thing in the game, the Tang, capturing him with the help of. <laughs> Is that Miku? Daniel Hung sees an image of Blaine and freaks the hell out, so he decides to rejoin the crew. He arrives at Lofu and runs into Sus Hung and Sus Number Two, who carries a 10 feet long coffin. For sure, needs time to set up some magical interrogation light show, so the crew explodes around Lofu, running into the healer that you'll stop using a year from now, and learning about the existence of the dragon people. The crew learns bits and pieces about Lofu while exploring the area, meeting a bunch of other characters such as the blind girl, aka important stuff happening. But wait, you have to run errands with Dan Shu. The other girl you hand your quest to, mad scientist, and the gambling addict who doesn't want to work and is one mistake away from getting fired by Fu Xuan. During the interrogation, Kakura reveals that the Stellaron is unrelated to the Stellaron hunters. A giant tree sprouts inside the artisan ship commission area, causing chaos, and Kakura goes off to buy milk again. Oh, and Blaze somehow escaped whatever prison he was thrown to earlier. The crew fights a giant immortal deer to no avail, so they retreat to fight another day, but that's not important. Dan Shu has a new quest for you. So the crew finishes up their quest with Dan Shu, who turns out to be a traitor all along, and the crew chases her around a few maps and she escapes. Yes, she escapes. This is pure illusion of choice here, my friends. The crew reports the matter of Dan Shu escaping to the other girl who we hand our quest to, and the main story stops right here. That's the fast food version of what happened in Lord Food thus far. I hope this nonchalant recap helps refresh your memory somewhat. Thanks and bye bye.